Hey all here OS Reviews, some of you guys may remember that about a year ago we checked out the 10 Audio T2, which are these really popular IEM or in-ear monitors, had these memory foam tips, and was just very good in terms of the sound quality, being well balanced, offering plenty of bass. Well the same company is now back with what I think of as the second generation of the same line, it's called the T2 Plus, but it has a completely different shape compared to the original T2s, which had a more conventional kind of straight earbud design. These have more of a curved ergonomic fit, more reminiscent of other in-ear monitors. And for the upgrade, we do have slightly new drivers now, which are 10 millimeters. They're zinc alloy coated drivers. They're still single drivers on this particular pair, but that's expected for this low price. Entire body is once again constructed out of metal, which looks very sleek. In-ear monitors these days, which still has a cable, is to give you more resolution and detail than what you would typically find from a wireless Bluetooth pair, for instance. So if you're more of an audiophile and you want more detailed sound, that's why this market still exists. Now actually a few days ago we did check out another pair of budget IEMs from Moondrop called the SSR Spaceships, which were pretty neat. So it's going to be interesting that we also have another one of these IEMs uh, just a few days apart. So the packaging here is quite simple. Inside there is a blue box, looks pretty fancy, and then we have just the buds presented right on top. Now, the buds themselves even have this kind of synthetic leather texture to the packaging here, so it's done very well. And then inside here we have a detached cable, which is using a standard MMCX, refers to this particular style of connector, which is standard across many of these um, in-ear monitors and earbuds. So these are modular in the sense where if the cable fries or breaks, you can just get a replacement cable, but still keep the buds themselves with their drivers functioning. So it's a nice added security there. And you can also also replace the cable with other designs, uh, versions which have things like remote controls or even Bluetooth built on into the cable so you can make them wireless if you choose to. Uh, the one that is included has a nice textured, very thick braided material and there is kind of a metal accent that splits apart the two sides, has the 10 Hi-Fi logo and then the tip here which is 3.5 millimeters, standard plug is gold plated. There is no built-in remote though on this so that you don't get a microphone or play pause controls for things like media playback, it's simply an audio cable. Now under here we also have quite an assortment of silicon tips to get a more comfortable fit, and as usual just like the T2s, the T2 Plus also come with memory foam tips. So these are from Comply and they can provide some added noise isolation, they're like sponge, so whenever you put them into your ears it can really block out noise from leaking in or leaking out, really comfortable for long term listening, but they're not quite as uh, base heavy as silicon tips and at the same time silicon tips are more resistant to sweat and water so this is going to be better for sitting down and listening to these are going to be more rugged and durable otherwise the design here is very sleek it has these completely rounded corners and edges so it is very slippery as far as the material here is concerned feels very solid and dense it's quite a contrast in fact to the uh, first generation t2s and even the moondrop ssrs which just here as a quick comparison, you can see has much sharper edges. At the same time, it's not quite as eye-catching in my opinion, or dare I say iconic as the T2s because of the blue accents for the memory foam and the fact that it had such an angular shape. Moving into audio quality and performance, there is plenty to love here. Just like the T2s, the T2 Plus are just super impressive for single driver pair of buds. They are extremely dynamic, have plenty of bass, and also crystal clear troubles as well. So in particular, if you are a bass head, if you're someone that enjoys listening to genres like EDM or anything with deep drum beats, these are definitely a part of the sound that you can feel whenever those notes kick in. It's very satisfying. At the same time, again, the trebles, things like vocals, females' voices, instruments do still sound very clear with plenty of detail. Mids also are good, but by contrast, I would say the bass and the trebles are a bit more memorable. It's not necessarily repressed by the two extreme sides of the sound signature, but uh, overall offers, I think, a decent mix. Because of that, I would say that these are better general sounding buds than the Moondrop SSRs, just because of the fact that they can work better for a wider genre of music. Even if you love bass, if you love watching movies and soundtracks, they sound great. If you like listening to acoustic tracks and singers' voices, it still sounds great. So in general, I'm very impressed there. And maybe it's also because of the fact that these have larger drivers. Uh, six millimeters, 
millimeters there versus 10 millimeters on these do make a difference. Paired with a good sounding player and a good track that's encoded in a FLAC or higher resolution Kodak, you're able to notice more details within the music and track. These are definitely meant more for sitting down and really noticing the nuances of the music uh, and really getting that hi-fi audio experience as opposed to being mobility first. If you are someone that's constantly on the go, just like pretty much every pair of IEMs, the fact that this has wires is still going to add a bit more of inconvenience and a bit of noise as the wire kind of moves on your shirt as you're moving about. Compared to other IEMs with a similar design, I do think that the noise isolation, just the passive isolation that is using the silicon tips, is a little bit weaker, surprisingly. Despite the fact that they are ultra comfortable and they conform to the shape of your uh, ears very well, and uh, they do feel great even after hours of listening without really any fatigue. However, if you swap it for the memory foam tip, it improves it tremendously. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the 10 Hi-Fi 10 Audio T2 Plus. Overall, I think that these upgraded versions of the T2s do pack a more ergonomic fit and a slightly more dynamic sound, even richer, even more expressive. 10 Audio continues to provide great value for their products at relatively low price points for audiophile grade wearables. So if you're interested, you can check out more details in the links down below, an impressive second generation showing from the folks over at 10 Hi-Fi that's been the 10 Audio T2 Plus.